Wir sind am nächsten Stand bei Line 6 und äh, hinter mir steht was ganz Neues und zwar eine PA. Und was es damit auf sich hat, zeigt mir jetzt Steve. <lacht> nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you too. So, what's it all about? A PA system. So, yeah, so um, Line 6 is introducing its, its first PA, um, including a, a speakers and a mixer. It's part of the ecosystem extending on from the digital wireless microphones. So when, at this point, we can pretty much outfit the entire stage. Um, these are the stage source speakers. Um, it's, uh, we've got two drivers and a, and a tweeter. So it's a three-way active speaker. Um, it has a built-in, um, it's got a built-in two-channel mixer, um, including some effects and modeling. We, we actually have uh, acoustic modeling for, if you plug a piezoelectric acoustic guitar in there, we actually have a little bit of modeling in here to help take that piezo and make it turn into more like an acoustic guitar sound. Um, we've got some reverb and we've got voice doubler, but basically you have a, a sweepable mids on a, and a high and a low shelf, right, and a high cut, gain, and a pad, and we've got input as well for um, something like a, uh, a, an, a smartphone or a, a, you know, a MP3 player and so on. So you can do, you can pretty much, you could do a whole gig just with this, um, and a microphone and a guitar. Okay, and you actually see that next door, are demoed on the stage. Um, at the same time, it has an accelerometer, um, so it understands that um, if it's upright or on its side, we actually have a little kickstand on this side. There's a kick here that will help angle it up, and you'll see that up over, over on the other stage, so you can lay it down. If you lay it down on its side, the digital signal processing in it realizes that you want to use it as a monitor, and it reconfigures the driver configuration, you know, through modeling to basically be optimized for doing mo for for doing monitor work. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we 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 can there's modeling available. You can basically set it so that it's being used as a, a full range system, or you can configure it to be an instrument only system. You know, so like if you plug the acoustic guitar and just put the acoustic modeling on, the whole system, the drive level, the crossover, everything gets set up so that it's, you know, optimized for um, for that application. So, and you, the other piece that it has, it's uh, sort of interesting, is the Line 6 Link. Um, she's over here. <laughs> um, so we have a Line 6 Link in and out. So we connect this Line 6 Link from here. It's, uh, it's Line 6's proprietary, You know, it's an eight-channel digital um, I.O., basically, right? Um, it's similar to what we're using on the HD500 and the, the Pod HD series. Um, so if we connect that to this, the two of them know about each other. Um, so instead of using the DSP in here for the EQ for the house speakers, it'll use this DSP, but you'll adjust it on this screen, you know, or you can adjust it over in here. So, so the system basically extends itself as we daisy chain from here to there, and so on, you know, this, this guy automatically knows about all those speakers, and the transmission from here to there would then be digital, right? Um, instead of having to be analog, right? Okay, so then we come to the mixer, um, and this is a full basic 20 input, uh, two main a and four monitor output, um, with separate mixes on each one. It's got headphone out, it's got some foot switch capabilities, so that uh, it's designed for use by a musician on stage. Um, can certainly be used at front of house as well, and um, and it has a, it also has a um, iPhone in somewhere in here right here the little mini eighth inch. It can record direct to to um, an SD drive internally, it, or it can record as an act work as an interface to either a Mac or a PC. Um, and, and on the Mac, it's standard I, um, core audio, so it'll work with any any application that uses as an as an interface. Um, The cool thing here is that what's really new and different is that it automatically um, understands what you're trying to do. So if, um, if we plug something in up here, you'll see over here is the input field. So if I plug in here, it says, oh, look, he plugged a quarter inch in, right? And then um, I plug in an output, right? And it sees that output. So now these two guys are connected, right? So it made, for me, it saw that I plugged in a quarter inch cable Right. If I all, if I plug in next to that a um, an XLR, it sees XLR. So I know I got quarter inch, and it put a mic out here up on the stage, right? Uh, so I'll make this go away. There it is. Okay, I have a little bit of glare, so it's hard for me. So so now I say, oh, I plugged that in. I wanted that to be my guitar. Okay. Okay. So that's my acoustic guitar, right? And. Um, And this guy here is going to be for um, a, vocalist. a vocalist, right? 
So it's visual audio mixing. Yes, and see, I've already got the trim. I'm on him, and I'm adjusting his trim, right? I'm on him, and I'm adjusting his trim, okay? So just, I want to adjust that guy. Okay, so that's um, in perform mode, right? So it's a simple interface in perform mode, but I may want to tweak that setting. So I'm, I'm just a, a guitar player, right? I don't know. Me too, about, me too. I don't know about what, you know, threshold and gain and, and all that stuff is, but I've got this thing that, that just my punch or my pump or my, you know, gives me a tighter control or more open sound. So I put my finger on here and I listen with my ears until it's where I like it. But, you know, I might be, uh, that could get me started quick, but maybe I also do sound on the side or I got a recording studio. You know, I know how to operate a compressor, right? So if I want to get in there, I can now then just see um, at, a, at a tight level, um, you know, uh, what it is that I'm working on, right? So turn it off, go to something like uh, tone, right? That's my EQ. If I go in advanced mode, whoops. Uh, it's hard to do from the angle here. Go back to tweak. Go to advance. And um, I can see my EQ in advanced mode, OK? So I can either do it d directly. Here, so see how these guys, the red is this red, the yellow is this yellow. And you notice these have been changing color to map to what's on the screen. Or if I prefer, I just need to move that over there. Is there any kind of a, a, a mixer you can see and, and really work with a normal mixer yeah, well, mode? Well, in perform mode, really what you're seeing is um, if I um, do a setup, can I do a recall? Recall setup. What you see is um, you'll see like the whole band up here, right? Let's put some guys up here. We've got a snare drum and a, right, and some cymbals and so on. So, so you can see here, that's really the mixer, okay? And you'll see the levels indicated right on these guys, and you'll see level out here, right? On the, that's the master output. So basically, if I want to adjust any of these randomly, I can just go right to the mix. That's the mix, okay? All right. So that's my direct to the mixer if I just want to do that. That would be in perform mode. That's all you see. Okay, so it, it simplifies the screen. It makes it so that you can't accidentally, you know, you know, Right, right. Okay. That's all about it. Yeah, and you, be since sure to go see it next door and yeah, we'll go over there. But you know, uh, since you started, I I couldn't stop smiling. It's it's unbelievable. It's really the, the, cool. Yeah. I've been beta testing one of these at home. You know, playing with Rounder. That I, I in my day job, I'm the microphone guy. You know, I'm the product manager for the microphone. But at night, I'm playing around with this, and uh, every time every time the software guys put one more feature in it, you go, oh, you know. You know, you spend the whole night going, oh, that's cool, and this is cool, and that's cool. And, but I showed my wife. My wife's a music teacher, and I thought this was really cool. All I had to do for my wife was plug this in, you know. And, um, you know, she, she directs a choir at a high school, and they go out and do benefits a lot. So they have to grab a PA quick, go out and run, and somebody has to know how to use it. But I plug this in, and I plug this in. I put that up there, and she goes, I want one. <laughs> so easy. Okay, man. Thank you very much for the information, and uh, I think there will be something to to look out at. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's uh, okay. three different stages set up next door. They're showing it set up as sort of the simple singer-songwriter kind of thing, a small combo stage, and then the full-blown stage, and uh, with monitors and mains and subs and everything. Okay. Das schauen wir uns jetzt an. Thank you very much, man.